In the ancient world, of course, freedom was viewed as a privilege rather than a right. The entire Roman economy was built on slave labor. If you were born a slave, your average lifespan in Rome was about 20 years, and they would just simply work to death. The Dark Ages are alleged to be from about the fall of Rome to the 15th century. It's a lie, there never were any Dark Ages. The very idea of human rights is an invention of medieval theologians. The fact that the church insisted on its independence created the social conditions for the possibility of free space throughout all society. Christian Europe got rid of slavery. That's a story about slavery that is very seldom told, and it's a shame. The idea that all men are created equal and that they are endowed by their creator with certain rights is not at all a new idea. It is, in fact, as the phrasing indicates, it is in the creation story. There's been a systematic campaign to reinterpret our past as if it meant to disallow free expression of religion. When you take God out of the picture, you take this notion of higher law, of the whole framework for ordered liberty out of the picture. Think of what a scandal it would be if we were to say the abolitionists should have kept their Christian faith out of the struggle against slavery. Reverend Martin Luther King should have kept his Christian faith out of the struggle for civil rights. People who fought against the terrible crimes committed in the name of eugenics should have kept their faith out of politics. European humanity learned its dignity in the school of Christian freedom, which taught European men and women that they were somebody, not just something.